Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you transform an object, you can scale, resize, skew, or otherwise adjust the boundaries of the selected object. There are many things that can be transformed, like layers, selections, and shapes. So to apply a transformation to an object, you'll need to select the object you wish to transform. To apply a specific individual transformation to a selected object, use the commands listed in the side menu that appears when you select Image, then Transform from the menu bar. You can select either Skew to horizontally and or vertically slant the object, Distort to warp an object in any direction by stretching it, or Perspective to change the perspective you appear to have in regards to the object. Changing the perspective can come in handy when you shoot an image from below, for example, but want to distort the image to make it look like you took the picture from head on. If you need to apply multiple transformations to a selected object, you may find it easier to select Image, then Transform, and then the Free Transform command from the menu bar instead. This command allows you to perform all of the transformations using one tool instead of having to perform multiple transformations individually. When you transform a bitmap image, pixels are often added so that the image becomes less sharp with each individual transformation. You can use the free transform command to apply multiple transformations at once to avoid losing sharpness in bitmap images that need to be transformed. When you select the free transform command, you will see the bounding box surround the selected object. Note the small circle or crosshair in the middle of the bounding box. This is the reference point around which the transformations will occur. To change the given center for the transformation effect, click one of the small circles in the Reference Point Location button in the Tool Options bar to set the desired reference point. You can also scale the image by changing the width and height shown as percentages within the W and H fields provided. If you check the Constrain Proportions checkbox and then change one of the percentages, the other percentage will change to keep the current proportions. To the right of that, you can change the angle of the image by clicking into the angle circle or by entering a value into the degrees field just below the circle. To freely distort a selected object, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click and drag one of the resizing handles of the selected object. To skew the object, hold down both the control and shift keys on your keyboard and then click and drag with the mouse on one of the resizing handles that appear at the sides of the object's bounding border to slant the object. To change the perspective of a selected object, hold down the control plus alt plus shift keys on your keyboard and then click and drag the selected object by one of its corner selection handles. To move a selected object, place your mouse pointer inside of its bounding border over the object itself. Then click and drag with the mouse to move it to a new location. When you are finished making your transformations, click the Confirm check mark in the image to apply the transformations, or click the Cancel button to cancel the transformations. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.